In this video, I will be analyzing DNA taken from a crime scene. This crime occurred at a bank. This robber, wearing a ski mask, threw a rock through the glass door of the bank and shattered the glass. The robber goes through the hole and accidentally cut himself on the edge, leaving blood at the scene. Unfortunately, a bank employee was also hurt by the glass, leaving his blood at the scene as well. A sample of DNA was taken from the employee and from four different suspects. Then, those samples, along with the evidence from the crime scene, was amplified for two different VNTR loci and run on two gels to create unique DNA fingerprints. These were the results for locus 1, and these were the results for locus 2. We can use these to find the identity of the perpetrator. In order for the DNA to be considered the same as the DNA from the evidence, the bar positions must match at both loci. Each bar represents an allele. This orange box has the evidence from the crime scene. The evidence cannot have come from the employee because the boxes are too far into the gel. Suspect 1 cannot have been the one to leave evidence at the crime scene because only one of the bars matches the position of the evidence bars. The bars of suspect 2 are in the exact same position as the evidence bars, so it is possible that they were the one who left the DNA sample. Suspect 3 did not leave the evidence because the bars are not in the same positions. Suspect 4 may match the DNA evidence because the bars do match exactly. This is the second locus. The DNA evidence is in the orange box. Let's see what it matches with. Follow these lines over. It can clearly be seen that the bars from the employee DNA do not match with the DNA evidence. Continuing the lines over, it can be seen that the bars of suspect 1 do not line up with the evidence either. Suspect 2 and the evidence match, so suspect 2 could have committed the crime. Suspect 3 also matches the DNA evidence because the bars are in the same positions. The evidence could not have been left by suspect 4 because the bars did not match. So who left the DNA at the crime scene? At locus 1, suspects 2 and 4 matched the evidence. And at locus 2, suspects 2 and 3 matched the evidence. The suspect that matched the evidence at both loci was suspect 2, so they must have been the one to leave the evidence at the crime scene. One of the suspects was actually the parent of another suspect. Can you tell which one? The boxes represent alleles, and since humans are diploid, a child receives one allele from each parent for each locus. You can tell that suspects 1 and 2 are parent and child because they share one allele at each locus.